Okay, there's the application. So this is our hello world. Just create it, and you have the hello world ready for you. Uh, let's do some more uh, work in that, and let's see how it turns out. So I go here, and uh, I let's try to make the trip advisor over here. Uh, so you have a button here uh, to search, and then you have a edit box here. Okay, to write down what you want to search, and then uh, you want to have a web view to push it in. We'll talk about that web view later, but see, let's see like how it looks like. I mean, it's pretty ugly, right? You want to make it a little nicer. So uh, what I need is I'll open this outline. You see that I have a linear layout in that, and I push everything in that. So I need something more. So let's pull some more layout. Uh, I'll pull one more linear layout here, and what I would do. In the outline, I will go and put them inside. There you go. So we have this ready. And then I'll go here and simply say run. So every time I run, it will package and install an application into the phone and then run the application in the phone. So it does the entire process. There you go. So you have this. Now, now let's see what's happening behind the scene. I want you to see that what is happening behind the scene. Uh, so uh, I'll show you that from the file system that what is happening underneath. Uh, let me open the place where I am putting all this, which is my work folder, <coughs> and jug demo. So we see this uh, behind the scene. What is happening is when you compile it, it's getting compiled into the dot class file. This is what usually you see, and uh, it is creating a dot dex file. This is that Dalvik executable, which is finally is being run into Dalvik Dalvik virtual machine. Okay, and then this is uh, jug demo dot apk. I was wondering that how especially it does. So what I did, I just went there and made it zip. <laughs> okay, and then I open it, and I see that there's no big deal is happening inside. You know, the same file they name it as APK. Inside they have simply put everything. You know, in there, no big deal. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make an APK back to make my emulator happy. All right, so uh, TripAdvisor, I promise you that when you go home that you will have something for TripAdvisor this night ready. So let's try to make something, put the, put the uh, web view so that you can see the TripAdvisor you know, coming in there. I'm not sure if I'll, uh, uh, I'll try my best to do that. I have written a small application for, for my own startup. EasyDeal.com, which helps you to find trusted expert, and I'll show you that you know how that shows up and, and what else I did beyond this Hello World application in, in that app. So uh, I call it a trusted uh, expert finder, and if you see in that, uh, I have just these three classes. Out of these three classes, I do not use test HTTP because I don't like doing JUnit testing. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but okay. So let's see that you know this is different, uh, something different. I'll show you that how easy you can put the preference. But here, the search expert, this class. If you see, uh, you know what? I'm missing something. I, I I wanted to show you that how you access the, uh, the 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 view into XML into the Java. I'll try to show you the same thing into with this application only. So if you see that. Uh, or to, to be to make it simple, like you know, let me go back. You know, it'll be easy for you guys to get it uh, here. If you see that, and and, and, and we re remember, we added two more uh, uh, view. One is a button, and other is an edit box. So what you need to simply do here is uh, make a edit box. be equals to find view 
by ID and this is this is the important for us to understand control shift O to get it by itself this is important for us to 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 understand this that when you now now I'm trying to access the same edit box over here so what I do is basically I go so rad dot ID dot edit box that's it and I have this edit box available for me into my Java Control shift or doesn't work today with, with, the, with the projector it doesn't work <laughs> I think it's text box. Yeah. Add text. Thank you. It does work actually with the. Okay. So edit text you have available now. Eb dot. Set. No, don't do that. Okay. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so this is the bug. This is the bug which I've been struggling from last three days and uh, trying to not do this thing which I did. And you know what? This screen will not go unless until I reboot my computer. <laughs> so. Tonight, if I win the raffle prize and somebody out here help me to get this screen out, and if I win, I'll give it to him. <laughs> you all get it. Okay. Set. Edit. Okay, basically, I will not play with this. I know that it happened, and this, 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 this saved my life. So set text, and you're all set. That's all you need to do to get the view into the class, and 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 you're done. You're done, and you do whatever you want with your uh, components or with your views in your Java class. That's what I wanted to show you that how you get the access of uh, the views from XML to the Java code, and 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 to do that, uh, we had used the R and the Eclipse has created automatically this ID for you. Okay. Uh, any question on that? Okay. Let's move to the TripAdvisor. Okay. The demo I'm showing you here is is simple. This class and what this class is does is has the. Okay. Let me sh open the the main not XML. Okay. This is a simple main XML, and this is like. TripAdvisor.com. If you see that Java, uh, this is the edit text, and this is the search button. Same, and this I have put to show you the how you can easily set the preference in the application. This is the web view what Andrew was talking about, and I'll show you in, in next two minutes how easy to get the web view into your application and to do it, deal with that. So what you do is simple, one line. This is how, this is the line, this is the work that intern will do eventually for you to put the web browser as a part of your Java application. He will add this line, okay, and give the ID, okay, and, and set this parameter. That's it. The moment you put this thing, you have the web view available for you. Now, I showed you how do you access the, web, the any, any content uh, into the Java class from the XML. Absolutely same thing. You go back, this is the two line. Okay. Is it visible? Okay, so what I did is find my ID and I just get the ID and I say that oh, okay, JavaScript, support all the JavaScript thing. That's it, I did this and then what I did, I wrote uh, a zip, okay. Swing guy, those who have written the swing, they know what is action listener, right? So the same action listener, something like on click listener. So what I did is, when somebody click on the search button, it goes to the 